everybody. I'm sorry this is a little bit late. Um, but we can call it a bedtime story. I had to go into school, as you saw in my other video, to get a bunch of stuff today. So it took up a lot of my day. Um, and I'm working on learning some new things to help us with learning online. So, But we can read a bedtime story together right now. Sve and Lucy picked this one out for us. And they like this book a lot, and I think you'll like it too, because I know that you liked If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. But the title of this book is If You Give a Pig a Pancake. And I hear two sounds that are the same. Pig and pancake start with what sound? P, P. And what letter makes that sound? That's P, P, Pig, P, Pancake. And the author of this story is Laura Numeroff, and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. Remember, illustrator draws the pictures. I think this is going to be about a pig who gets some pancakes. But how would a pig get pancakes? Oh, there comes a pig. Here's another title page. If you give a pig a pancake. Oh, looks like the pig got to a house. If you give a pig a pancake. She'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. Oh, I bet I know some kindergartners that like their pancakes with maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. Look at those fancy shoes. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Look at that fancy outfit. Oh no, what's the pig doing? Then she'll want you to take her picture. <gasps> what's happening up there? Some crazy dancing. So you'll have to get your camera. When she sees the picture, <laughs> she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. Oh, this pig needs a lot of things. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, oh my, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. Wallpaper is like fancy paper that you glue up on the walls. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. 
Hey, that makes me think about earlier in the story when she was sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, what do you think she's going to ask for next? Chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. Hmm. What happened to the little girl? She fell asleep. Why do you think the little girl fell asleep? The author doesn't tell us about that, but I bet you guys can use what you know about the story to figure out why the little girl fell asleep. I see the pig looks pretty happy. That's a silly story. All right. Thank you for reading with me. I'll be back tomorrow. And I hope you have a really good night and get some good sleep. All right. I miss you. All right. Giga Wabamin.